My friends, hello and welcome to a brand new year, 2021 Current Era. A truly remarkable year that, honestly, I'm quite optimistic about and hoping to be a productive, happy, and healthy year for all. A common New Year's tradition is that it's often fun to predict what might happen in the upcoming year to serve as something to look forward to or goals to strive towards. In speedrunning, it can be fun to look towards which world records might be set in the upcoming year, whether you sense someone actively pursuing a time, or just a hunch that a record is ripe for the picking. In this video, we'll look at five theoretical untied world records in GoldenEye 007 that could be set in the year 2021. These are just records that I sense speedrunners are playing for, or where time remains to be cut on some stages. There have been between 10 and 16 untitled records set in every year dating back to 2011. So if that trend holds, there will be a handful more untitled records than just this list. And some surprises, to be sure. We're a few weeks into the year and no untieds have happened yet, so check out my list and chime in with what you think might happen in this epic upcoming year, 2021. Here we go. And there may be no better record to start off with than Depot Secret Agent 38 Seconds. The current record, 39, was originally set in June 2015, and has been matched by seven total speedrunners in the time since. Interestingly, the double agent record has been improved twice in that same time span, from 47 to 46, and then to 45. Depot Double O Agent has one additional objective compared to Secret Agent, going into this warehouse and destroying the ammo dump. And so the difference between records on Depot's Secret and Double Agent has historically been seven seconds most of the time. The fact that the Double O Agent record is 45 suggests that 38 on Secret Agent is overdue, and perhaps it is. The focal point of any Depot Secret Agent speedrun is this area, the mainframe room in which you must pick up a key, Objective B, while also destroying these two mainframes, Objective A. There are a variety of techniques used in this room, from going in there and intentionally destroying the mainframes yourself with five shots each, self-boosting through the mainframes in some cases, to much more YOLO techniques, where you simply run directly towards the key, spray and pray towards the mainframes, and just hope that the shots of the guards aiming at you will miss and destroy the mainframes instead. Obviously, these techniques become less consistent the more YOLO the mainframe room becomes, at the trade-off of having a faster mainframe room, and thus a better shot at 38. That is, if you can ever get a completion. At least a couple of runners have had some close calls, so I wouldn't be surprised to see Depot Secret Agent 38 on the menu in 2021. Another consideration, albeit an unlikely one, is the notion of including the Depot Roller Door Warp on Secret Agent. It's only used right now on the Agent difficulty, because on Secret and Double O, you would need to backtrack and pick up the blueprints from this safe, Objective C. But one TAS video shows that this could still save about a second. Obviously, this would turn a very inconsistent level into an even more inconsistent one. But if you're grinding away run after run, there may be no harm in playing out 39 pace runs, going for the roller door warp, and hoping to nail it, saving that cheeky second and getting the insane untied. There is some discussion on whether or not this would actually save time on console, and I doubt we'll see it in a run anytime soon, but it's cool enough to mention. Good luck, Depot players! Silo Double O Agent 120 or lower may be the most overdue record of all. Silo Double O 121 was set by Perfect Ace in July 2014, and has only been matched once in the years since. However, believe it or not, it's actually the oldest standing Double O Agent world record, which is kind of insane to think that the other 19 Double O Agent records have all been improved in the time since. Silo Double O is one of those levels that can almost never be truly optimized. There's just so much chaos and complexity. 
The locked doors of the level can be opened by guards in soft two second cycles, with the speed of guards reaching these doors depending on unsolvable variables, like the lag of the game or which exact direction you're looking. It's also incredibly easy to get stuck on guards or scientists in the tight halls and stairways. Scientists can randomly pass away if a rogue grenade goes off. It really is total mayhem. That being said, if we watch Aces 121, we can clearly see he loses about two seconds at the very end, getting stuck on the fleeing General Oromov. So 119 and even lower are indeed possible. All that being said, there's something about the stage that seems to naturally repel newer players from contending. Since 2019, only three players have achieved a time of 124, and no new players have scored 123 or lower in that time. That's quite far away from the world record, a stark contrast when you consider just how good these players have proven to be on the other stages of Goldeneye. In any matter, could this be the year one of the new players finally break through and reach Nirvana on Silo Double Agent? Or could one of Silo's dormant experts return to the scene to notch the untied? It's definitely out there, the glorious moment waiting to be seized by whichever speedrunner may capitalize on the opportunity. Cavern's Agent 101 is, believe it or not, at the time of writing this, the third oldest record in all of GoldenEye 007. It was originally set by the legendary player Mark Rutsu in July 2011. Feels like yesterday, but now nearly a full decade ago. Of course, this raises the question, is one minute possible? And it very well might be. 30 players have gone in to match the time, a record that requires clean strafing and consistency played out over the hours until you finally get a run with a healthy, positive boost ratio. That is to say, more boosts than back boosts. Many 101s will have three or four boosts. One or two won't quite do it, but three or four is enough for a 101 with a very cleanly strafed run. However, one infamous Caverns 101 is that of Australian gamer Samo Sammy. On this run, after struggling with 101 for months, Samo got the god luck with a total of eight boosts on this run, enough to push him to his goal time of 101. However, we can compare his run to a number of 101s with only three boosts. If we agree that a boost saves about 0.3 seconds, then five boosts could save 1.5 seconds, and that's clearly enough for one minute. Even if we aren't so generous and say that these five additional boosts only save one second, that could still be enough for one minute. Of course, on a perfectly strafe run, a super rare run at that. The chances of getting eight boosts might be something like one in tens of thousands, chasing a dragon ready to blast you into Cavern's Agent one minute glory. There are some additional complexities too, this drone is on a cycle and back boosts you regularly on certain paces, so we would have to learn exactly when to cut the intro cinema to give us the best chance at getting through unback boosted on a one minute pace run. And equally, there may be some more opportunities for self boosts, like this cheeky box boost that only started seeing frequent use in 2017. It might even be possible to save nearly another full second on the ending alone, as seen in some of these elevator warps captured on video file over the years, showing great potential for time save. If you were to get a lucky boost right through the lift as it opens, it could save almost a full second. In any matter, it does appear that Cavern's Agent 1 Minute is out there. Will 2021 be the year when it finally happens? So, Train Secret Agent 122 may happen in 2021, but if it does, it'll probably all be due to one man, Henrik Weister Norgren, the GoldenEye speedrun scientist and train master. Weister has the incredible untied world records on Train Agent and Train Double Agent, and has been going for 122 on Secret Agent to complete the untied sweep. 
123 was originally set in 2012 by who else but Mark Rutsu, and it's always been an amazing time. Weiser actually failed a 122 recently. You see, if you shoot Ormov with a D5K from outside the ending caboose, the game's internal timers, which count down time until Natalie completes her hacking objectives, begin sooner. Of course, the earlier Ormov passes away, the faster. However, then you have less time to cut the locks at the end and escape unnoticed. You can see, conversely, in Mark's 123, he lasers Ormov and is already in the ending caboose, ready to cuff the locks moments after passing away Ormov. However, on Weister's 122 fail, he still has some cleaning up to do on these two guards, and has to move a greater distance into the room before going after the locks. You only have about 17 seconds from when you eliminate Ormov to when you can escape the train without failing Natalia's objective, so this far Ormov shot makes the locks much tighter to pull off successfully. Weister has shown that his techniques can indeed pace 122, however, so perhaps this record is one to keep an eye out for in 2021. Damn Secret Agent 115. So believe it or not, but Mark Rutsu's Damn Secret Agent 116, set in January 2011, is actually the second oldest record still standing in the game, behind only Surface 1 Agent 102. Now, I have a whole video about whether or not Surface 1 Agent 101 is possible, and honestly, I'm not really a believer in it yet, even though many other Goldeneye runners do think it's a record that will happen this year but I'll leave that prediction to their own devices. I think Damn Secret Agent 115 is a somewhat more interesting conversation. Damn Secret Agent is a pretty straightforward stage. Destroy four alarms and bungee jump off the dam. Of course, Mark eked every frame imaginable out of the time to get 116, which is why the record remained untied for over five years and still stands after 10. However, a couple new innovations could be pointed out. For one, rather than the traditional method of running to the damn watchtowers, opening the doors and shooting out the alarms, a new technique exists where you can shoot at least one of the alarms from afar by breaking the glass window and continuing to fire while running straight forward a long ways down the dam. It's uncertain just how much faster this technique is compared to the traditional method, if at all, but at least one runner has used it to achieve a personal best of 117. Furthermore, the traditional order of destroying the alarms is usually, well, 1, 2, 3, 4. However, it may be faster to do 1, 2, 4, 3, and then strafe backwards off the dam, which seems like it could possibly save a half dozen frames. At least it does save those frames in isolation of destroying this alarm and then leaving. But this is an uncertain time save since we traditionally don't do this alarm last on Secret Agent, and comparing exactly how much time this would save on a Secret Agent run would require dozens of well-played example runs worth of data. In any matter, there's still much to be sorted out on Damn Secret Agent, and in general, the strategies used on the level haven't changed much, if at all, from the 2010s or even early 2000s. Might 2021 be the year we see an improvement on the stage? Well, there's my take on five theoretical untied world records in GoldenEye speedrunning that I think we could see happen this year in 2021. So what do you think? What's a record you think is overdue or bound to happen in the next few months? Let me know in the comments, and I truly wish everyone viewing this a happy and healthy new year. Thanks for watching, my friends. Stay true, and I'll see you in the next video. Today I want to talk about a growing issue within speedrunning which, left unchecked, threatens the legitimacy of every single leaderboard. Speedrunning can become very emotional when individuals put in thousands of hours towards one goal. So here are my top 10 pop-offs in speedrunning. Some have theorized it was a rogue gamma ray which caused the bite to flip. If that really is what happened, we'll probably never know for sure, 